Hey everybody, welcome to Ellis Mowers. I'm going to tell you one thing about this lawnmower. It's probably one of the most interesting lawnmowers you're going to see that I have had come through here. This is a Toro wheel horse. It is the first wheel horse that I've ever had in the uh, garage, shop, whatever you want to call it. It is originally a 16 horsepower, 38 inch HX. L, 16 horsepower Briggs 16 horsepower Briggs 38 inch cut it's actually got one of them Nikki carburetors on it it runs runs great cuts great or it runs great it doesn't cut great now those who may have keen eyes might see that this is not the original deck on it and let me give you an indication of what this deck came off of by going to this side. You got it yet? So this thing came off of a Murray. And somehow, some way, any lawnmower person, or any non-lawnmower person wouldn't even have any idea. But check out how they mounted this thing and retrofitted it in the front. It's actually pretty impressive for what they did. Now the one thing that they didn't do very well and that I'm going to have to fix is how you engage the blades. So the way that they have the blade engagement and I've tried to modify it a little bit and I don't know how well I'm going to be able to show it to you. However, the way that they got the blades engaging they're on now. Let me see if I can keep you there. I'm going to turn them off. You see that pulley move? Right here, right. That pulley's gonna move. That pulley's gonna move right there. So, so the blades are on. The belt's still a little loose, but the problem is the way that they have this thing going is that the springs are not. Uh, tight enough to disengage the blade brakes on it and so it's fighting the blade brakes now on a Murray lawnmower most of the time you have a lever on the right side and you pull it and this thing moves infinitely further than what it is now the problem is, with the with this setup, is that the cable is not strong enough. This is a cable-driven deck. So, the cable's not strong enough. And so what's happening is, it's not uh, pulling it far enough, pulling the cable far enough, or pulling the engage pulley far enough back. And what it does is it results in this, uh, the blade breaks trying to fight each other. And now that they're trying to fight each other, what happened is it burned up the old belt. As you can see the residue. I've put a different belt on it at this point. Came off of a 40 inch Murray, which I think this is a 40 inch deck. It might be a 38, but. Um, so what I'm gonna do is somehow, some way, make it so that the blade brakes stay back and make the engagement much smoother so that the spring can move this pulley further back. Because what it does is it hits the blade brakes and it stops it. So I'm wondering if I can get the deck off, which isn't terrible. It's just two, uh, the two points right here on the front. This one here in the middle, and then the one, a couple in the middle, and a couple in the back. And shoot, I'm just gonna see if I can get this thing to where the blade brakes are not fighting it. And if I can, then we're probably gonna be in business because the belt's tight enough to turn the to turn the pulleys the way that it is. So. This is going to be an interesting repair. This is not going to be my favorite repair by any means. However, I think the owners just want to get this thing to where it's actually in running and mowing condition, which we can do. 
Uh, I don't know if I'm going to really like my fix, but uh, it is something that I think we are going to be able to accomplish. So, uh, <laughs> I am not looking forward to this, but because uh, I don't really like custom jobs like that. The belt's going to be a little loose, so it's probably going to wear the belt. However... If we can get it because it'll pull it pretty well until we get to these tabs on the for the blade brakes and then it stops it so let me go ahead I'm going to take the pins out of this deck take the bolts out of the front of it and uh, I'm gonna see what I can do with this thing hopefully we can get it to where it will run and cut like it should or like it, it's going to run and cut, not like it should. But let me go ahead and get this deck off and we'll see what we can do. All right, I got the deck off. Uh, everything was pretty easy to get it off, like I mentioned. Got the cable and all that off as well. Um, thing I'm gonna do now is, I don't know another way around it because I don't have the leverage of that cable and I don't wanna snap the cable trying to make this thing work. So, what I'm going to do, because originally, it would engage right here, and you pull it right there, pull it right there, and it'll push it forward. Now, what it's doing now is we're pulling it from right here, which isn't a bad thing, but the leverage is down, and so what's happening is when it hits these springs to disengage the blade brakes, it's uh, running out of steam, so to speak. So what I'm going to do is take this nut off, which will take off this pulley mechanism right here, that will allow me access to take off the two blade brakes. This thing should be fine without either of them because it's using the, the tensioner pulley to engage them. So let me grab some wrenches. something on the bottom as well to take off. Might have to put a null on the bottom, let's see. Yeah. Gotta put a wrench on the bottom of it. I think it's the 9 16 on the bottom actually.
That literally just takes it right off. Because I'm thinking. I'm thinking if I can eliminate the blade brakes, the deck belt will be loose enough to where it won't try and engage the blades. I already know that. I just need to make it so it'll be tight enough to where it will actually engage the blades and turn them while it's cutting. Again, this is not a this is not an original deck. This is a I'm not gonna call it highly modified, but it's a retrofit. So. Hopefully y'all can see that get y'all right here. We're gonna put on this one back on again. Without the blade brakes. I hate taking blade brakes off. But the way they got this thing rigged, there's really no other better way to accomplish what I'm trying to accomplish. Things got unlimited travel now. Concept that the guy dreamed up, whoever did this, and the execution wasn't all that bad, but you can see it wore the mess out of the blade brakes trying to do it. And this stop right here was causing it to not work right. But apart from that, it's really, in all honesty, not too bad. Um, this should allow the, the uh, deck belt to come back more fully now. So we're going to try this out. I'm going to go ahead and get this deck back on. And see, this, this pulley is super free now. So it's great. All of the blade brakes are intact, or the guides are intact for the belt so the belt's not going to come off because what happened was i'll show y'all the deck or the belt was a little too tight i think it was a custom belt and it ended up burning it up but they tried to get it to work and it didn't and burn up the belt so let me get this thing back under And uh, let me get the deck back on it. I'll show you the I'll show you the end result. I don't know how pretty it's going to be, but um, I'll show you the end result and uh, what we end up having out of it. Hopefully, we have something that is successful. Okay. Well, again, this is a test belt. This mower is I don't know if you can see that 40 right there. This is a 40 inch Murray deck. I did not know if it was a 38 or a 40. But so they gained two inches on uh, whenever they switched the deck here. Let me show you the travel between of the pulley now if I can.
we got we got quite a bit more out of it as you can see this is not exactly as I wanted more travel than this however I got a tight enough belt I think it'll work so let me put y'all on the tripod real quick I'll crank it up we'll get it out here and we'll see if we can get this thing running running and driving and cutting be kind of cool if I can I think it's really high on that side I'll have to adjust that real quick Just put it down at like B first. Alright, let me put y'all on the tripod. And I'll set y'all down. Let's see. Oh, that leg's on silly. the way it looks. promising um again only engage the blades for a few seconds however it is enough to pull it i wonder where it is on the pulley it's near the bottom but again if i pull it this far up yeah it's still going to try and do that on the bottom of the pulley there hmm I think I've got the, far, the other side of the deck way too high. Let me lower the deck and see on the right side over there and see if that helps matters. I, did, I didn't put it in the same spot because it wasn't in the same hole. So let me lower that deck on that right side and see if that helps us out some. How about that? A Murray deck on a Toro lawnmower that works. Go figure. Alrighty, y'all. Well, I tell you what. I just cut the backyard with it. Did pretty well um, just like a regular lawnmower truthfully um, kind of surprised like I said the only thing I did is take the uh, blade brakes off of this thing so uh, and it was able to pull that tension or pulley back far enough to where it will actually engage the blades and it works the belts not wearing in any weird fashion from what I can tell which is good especially on the bottom um, And uh, the only thing I've noticed is that this deck will situate a lot higher than what I believe the stock deck might. Don't quote me on it. But what I had to do in order to make it work is that this side is actually on the highest setting that you can get it on. And it's actually interfering with, the, with one of the arms there. And the other side's on the lowest all the tires are up full of air and stuff like that. It is cutting level. 
but again I don't know I didn't retrofit it so I don't know if it's something in the retrofit itself or something else uh, about the highest you can cut on is the letter B before the belt really starts intruding on the tensioner pulley down there so uh, I was just instructed to get the thing working and I did it took me about what an hour and a half maybe so really not bad at all honestly um, and it does work and it runs and cuts just fine with a Murray deck on a Toro wheel horse let me know if you've ever seen this before because it's kind of interesting I wish I'd have been the one to retrofit this because it's actually kind of cool the reason why they did that is because the original deck rusted out and they said they wanted a replacement deck but it cost about six hundred dollars or the whole mower itself is maybe a five hundred dollar mower so it makes a lot of sense that they didn't do that um, let me show you the model number of this thing it's a seven one one two or excuse me seven one two two five made by the toro company in minnesota so um, there's your patent numbers the briggs engine says this is one of the later wheel horses as well this Briggs engine says that it is from the year 2000, April 13th of 2000. Runs pretty good, too. Um, what is that, a 280777? So, 16 horsepower, 38 or 40, 40 inch cut Murray is originally 38. Who knew? I'm kind of surprised. I hope, I think y'all might be too. But oil's good, blades are good, so I'm going to blow off the deck and send this thing on down the line just for the repair cost. Probably charge a little bit less for repairs than most people, but this will probably be a... I mean, I didn't have to pay for the deck belt. The deck belt's a little cracked, but I'll tell them that if... Uh, it's only took me about an hour, so maybe 50 bucks for the repair. And uh, if they want me to put a new deck belt on, I'll probably charge them another 25 So because I can get it probably for about 10 or 11. Fun fact, a Murray 40-inch deck belt fit right on this. Um, so the distance between the pulleys and the drive pulley is about or is close enough to where it'll work. Let's take her, take her for a little ride. I like this mower. I just finished cutting with it. The one thing I don't like is that everything over here is on this side, like the brake and the gas and the or the forward and reverse for the hydrostatic. Apart from that, I like the mower quite a bit. Runs good, drives good. So, we're just going to blow some of the driveway off with it. And it actually has a, a uh, reverse switch, which is actually down here. I'll show you how to use it. I just All you got to do is turn the key and it'll ignite the light. So here we go. Again, no higher than B. In reverse slide, I'm going to move the ignition key. That way I'll cut, I can cut in reverse.
let you see it. It just takes about 10 to 15 seconds for the brakes or for the blades to stop. They do stop, they don't perpetually turn. Go ahead and back this in the garage for now. Clean it out a little bit later. Probably backfire when we turn it off here. It did not. He did ask me that, th that to see if I could look at it backfiring when turning off. I'm like, man, <laughs> that's pretty typical of a Briggs. It's still got it's got the little switch on the solenoid for the um, anti backfire. Can't think of the words sometimes, y'all. Sorry. And uh, as you can see, I was trying a few different springs and stuff to see if that would help it pull it back any better. But again, the best thing for me to do was to take those blade brakes off. Did a beautiful job. Running and cutting great now. And we will uh, believe the owner will be pretty happy. Uh, I'm actually kind of impressed as well with the... I just got tools everywhere, guys. Sorry. So what I'll do, I'll tell them, look, this is, you know, there's really no other good way because the, the thing is, I want to, I want the blade brakes and everything to work. However, the tension of that cable is a lot weaker than the initial blade engage on these things. Um, it's just a nice big lever with a huge spring on it that pulls the, that pulls it back and it just doesn't work as it will never be able to pull those blade brakes off the way that it is so that's a that's a look at it i'm going to blow it off before i send it to the owner again it's going to be a 50 dollars fix took me about an hour hour and a half and uh got to cut my yard with it so uh worked great again if they want me to put a new deck belt on it, i'll charge them another 25 30 dollars to put that on because um, i can get the deck belt for about 10 or 11 online but that's the Toro wheel horse with the Murray 40 inch deck. Um, hopefully some of y'all that want to retrofit a deck onto the, these, I know that they're known for rusting out, can find this helpful um, as to retrofitting it. Again, I did not retrofit it. I wish I did, that way I could show you how to. But whoever did, did a pretty darn good job. The issue was just with the cable and the blade breaks, the cable not being strong enough to pull the tensioner pulley out far enough to disengage the blade brakes. Take the blade brakes off. It's not, it's not um, turning the blades while the engine is running, so I'm fine with that. Um, it, like I said, it just takes about, what, 15 seconds for the blades to turn off. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching, as always. Nice little repair video here. Uh, so I've done a couple repairs so far this year. I don't really do repairs. You never know if this thing starts becoming a big deal with the channel and, you know, just volume and stuff like that. Then you never know. I might be ramping up some repairs. But thank you all for watching. And I'll catch you all in the next video. But in the meantime, you can catch me at Ellis Mowers 09 on Instagram and Facebook. See you next time.